Hello and welcome to another Mr. Beast Fight video and this one's a little bit different insofar as we're looking at the NEC PVC 740E uh, PAL Betamax video recorder um, this was uh, donated to me by Kevin quite a long time ago actually, it's probably a couple of years. Um, I've used it quite a bit, uh, it's been an absolutely brilliant machine, um, but then I laid it up for a, li a little while um, and powered it on the other day to do, actually it was to do some PCM um, bits and pieces and uh, we have a problem. motor wear and um, can't eject quick set in game over so um, I'm hoping this will be a fairly quick video <laughs> not because I want it to be a quick video but just because I hope it's just a simple fault I think it's probably the um, lacing belt um, these decks are actually um, very similar to the the actual deck used in the C5 and C7, um, but it's identical to the deck that's used in the, the portable um, Sony, the SL3000. Uh, so it has the loading lacing belt um, on the side uh, rather than the long belt. Uh, the long belt. <laughs> that the uh, C5 and C7 has. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be that belt. But uh, yeah, uh, I suppose we ought to investigate and see what we find. Another little interesting fact, um, the clock was blinking. This has been on uh, for a little while. Um, I've been sort of getting ready to, to record the video. And um, all the zeros flashing, press clock set, and it actually showed how long the, the machine has been on. Uh, if you just press clock set and actually display the uptime. So I thought that was quite fun, quite an interesting thing. So uh, anyway, yeah, let's crack on. So I have to say this machine, I mean, it's relatively low hours and it's in lovely condition. Um, just taking off the set lid first. I don't think you have to do this, but I like to. Um, these are on little uh, pushing rubber bits, so that's why that's sort of poking up a bit. Um, pull this back, this comes off, and then I'm doing this with the power on because, well, you know, uh, two screws back. the whole lot off. So I'm suspecting it's this belt here. Um, like I said in a previous video it's actually quite fun because you've got mains there so you have to be a bit careful. Um, <laughs> sort of poking your fingers around and touch the fuse or something. Uh, so let's just turn it on. Yeah, so it's it's struggling to load. So uh, I need to find a new belt, I think. So first of all, I'm going to get this belt off. I've now turned the power off. Um, just in case. To me, that, that does look like quite a, a wimpy belt. Um, now I've found this belt, I don't know how good this will be. Um, I bought a load of these from um, Nico uh, Electronics uh, on eBay because uh, they're really cheap but they have some quite useful sizes of belts, um, namely this one. So uh, yeah, I'm going to try and put this on. Uh,
Oh, thought I got it. And I didn't. There we go. Okay, so let's power it on and see what happens. Uh, I can find that means. Sorted. So uh, let's try eject. Lovely. So yeah, it was just that belt. Oh, that's that's nice. <laughs> I told you this would be a quick video. Uh, so forward. Super. That's working well. So I suppose we ought to have a look and see what the picture's like. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to wind this on a bit because this tape, uh, the film that's on there actually gets copyright um, it gets a copyright strike, um, but uh, just to demonstrate the clock, uh, it's been on probably a couple of minutes. So if I just open the flap and rather than set the clock, just press the clock button and let go. That's how many minutes it's been up. So, yeah, I suppose that's quite cool, really. It's uh, very unusual. Um, do you know of any other machines that do that? But uh, yeah, cool. You um, can see all the rest of the belts are really good to be fair. Um, and uh, I mean the upper drum is really really good as well. I mean I've done very little to the actual tape path on this. It's, it's just immaculate. It's a, it's a lovely machine uh, in many ways. But uh, yeah press play see what we get oh it's still the film so uh yeah i'll just get to somewhere where um we can actually play back something and uh we'll take it from there one thing quickly you can hear like a squealing noise and that's actually these so what i'm going to do is I'm just going to take the caps off and um I'm just going to put a tiny bit of silicon grease on. So let's take the cassette out. Um, so we've got one here. And we've got one which is here. So what I'll have to do is just wind this on. Um, which I'll do now. Let's put the power off. I'll just wind this on. And then... Uh, We'll just put the tiniest amount of silicon grease uh, on and uh, that should hopefully stop the squeaking. Okay, so I've done a partial load. Okay, so uh, let's get one of these done. So just rock the top plastic and sort of pull up as you do it. Pull that off. Then I'm going to put just a tiny bit on my finger. Just rub that round. I'm sure there's a much better way of doing this, but I tend to find this works fine, to be honest. It's just to introduce a tiny bit of grease. Um, let's clean my finger off before putting that back on. Make sure that revolves. And do this one. Just try not to get too much on. I've got a little bit too much on that one, so just clean it off again. It's just the tiniest amount you need on there, just to give it a little bit of um, lubrication. Make sure it revolves. 
push down too hard they it stops them moving and then this one here which is going to be a bit tougher anything if I can help it seems okay push that on let's make sure it can move which it can and I've already done that one so super um, so let's turn it on so it means Switch on the front. See if it sounds any better. It does sound a lot better. Sounds great, actually. It's sort of running in well. I haven't put much grease on, but you can hear it, it has run in. So, uh, yeah. So I've used this stuff, WD-40 Hyperfine Silicon Lubricants. Um, it always tickles me using WD-40. <laughs> it's just like one of the worst things you can use, to be honest. Um, the normal stuff, but that stuff's really great for this. So, uh, yeah. No, oh, that's lovely. It's a really nice deck. It's a really good deck. Okay, I've had, I have, I have, yeah, yeah. I've had to swap tapes uh, because um, this is just um, the other tape. It, it just isn't suitable for copyright. Um, this one isn't much better, but I've got some adverts. So you can see here, it's the playback is really good. This is a very worn cassette. This is a cassette I've used a lot on this channel, actually. Um, but uh, if we go. Um, tracking furthest left has barely anything tracking furthest right just starts to come in you know it's just absolutely just a great machine uh, pause you're never going to expect anything too much um, it doesn't have the like the Toshiba's where you can press forward and it'll frame advance this is literally just a still frame take it and leave it <laughs> um, and then pitch search so yeah but um, what a great machine I mean it really is uh, uh, such a solid machine it's been so well looked after um, I don't think it's had hardly any use at all um, apart from that board with the battery but this board's fine, you know, it's it's not caused any problems. That little bit of rock that was there is absolutely fine. But, um, yeah, let's just see how long I've had this on now. Only six minutes. So, with that, um, I think we're good to go. And I'm, I'm, I just love this machine. Um, I never used to like them that much. I always thought they looked really quite dowdy and not that wonderful but <laughs> i just love this machine so um yeah hope you enjoyed this rather short video makes a change and uh i will see you in another video bye for now now even fine hair can have more body here comes the science bit concentrate l'oreal has created ceramide r a duplicate of the hair's natural strengthener, which penetrates the hair, rebuilding its strength from within. What does Elvive mean? Stronger, thicker, fuller hair. New L'Oreal Elvive Shampoo with Ceramide R. Go on, wash the strength back in.